$12.5 million irrigation system to improve sport at Tarrant High. More good news from the electricity sector enterprise team and government ramping up gender education. M. Andrew Chisholm with their Jamaica House Weekly Update. Minister with Responsibility for Sport Natalie Nita Headley last week commissioned a $12.5 million irrigation system at Tarrant High in St. Andrew. Tarrant High is one of 24 schools to benefit from improved tracks, fields and courts over the next two years under the $250 million high school sport infrastructure improvement project. In recognition of the critical role these schools play in anchoring the pillar for the National Sport Development Program, the government of Jamaica is committed to upgrading sport infrastructure in schools. The upgrading of high school sports facilities addresses the long-term development needs of sport in schools, communities, and nationally, ultimately safeguarding our future in sport. Mrs. Nita Headley also encouraged the school and community to keep the field in good condition. I expect to hear from Mrs. Furtado Price that a management committee would have been established to include members of the PTA and the community. I anticipate that this committee will prepare guidelines for the maintenance of the youth of the facility, but we have to ensure that we maintain whatever infrastructure we are putting in place. It will now become a part of the strategy to safeguard the future for our children and the legacy of this school. The project at Tarrant High is being funded by the Sports Development Foundation in partnership with Member of Parliament for East Central St. Andrew, Dr. Peter Phillips. In other sporting news, Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller last week appointed Olympian Shelley and Fraser Price as Ambassador Special Envoy of Jamaica. Fraser Price, along with her husband Jason Price, received their diplomatic passports during a courtesy call at Jamaica House Wednesday. Mrs. Simpson-Miller commended Fraser Price for contributing to the proud tradition of Jamaica's excellence in track and field. For her part, Shelley and Fraser Price thanked the Prime Minister for the designation and promised to represent the country with pride and dignity. On the energy front, more good news came from the electricity sector enterprise team ESET last week. ESET chairman Dr. Vincent Lawrence announced that the country would see significant improvements in the stability of voltage and lower technical losses from baseload energy generating plants to common stream over the next three years. Three entities, Jamaica Public Service, Jamalco and Alpard, have presented proposals to build and operate new power generating plants. During a recent press briefing, Dr. Lawrence said the power plant's feedstock would result in lower emission levels and lower production costs at alumina plants. And so the plants would be much more um, competitive in the global market and people who work in the alumina industry will resume their jobs and the earnings of the country from the alumina industry will again become real rather than imagined. And the minister responsible for gender affairs brought government's plans for gender equality to a private sector organization of Jamaica President's Forum last week. Senator Sandria Faulkner told the gathering that through the work of the Bureau of Gender Affairs, a number of programs have been launched to address gender inequality, but conceded that more should be done. Minister Faulkner called for a broad-based conversation and consensus on improving gender relations. And I think when we begin to have that broad acceptance across our country, we will see more women being elected to parliament. We will see more women helping to shape the laws of our country that will make it a more equal playing field. And I think all of us can play our part. And that's how we leave you on this week's edition of Jamaica House Weekly. We return next week with more of the newsmaking stories coming out of the office of the Prime Minister.